Hello everyone, so I hope all you can see my computer screen and today we are going to see how we can send automated WhatsApp invites to all of your guests. So suppose we have any function and special occasion like birthday, wedding, anniversary and etc. And we want to invite all of our family members and friends. And here we are not going to use the old tradition of sending the card personally. We are going to automate this entire process of sending invitation with the help of Pabli Connect. So this is going to save our time, energy and also money. With this, we can send invites to all of our guests instantly. In Pabli Connect, we are going to connect our Google Sheet and WhatsApp together. So whenever we will add contact details in my Google Sheet, then automatically I will send an invitation message to my invitee or guests. So for this, we will create an integration between Google Sheet and Vati. And for sending automated WhatsApp message, we are using Vati. So we are going to learn step by step process of automating this entire process of sending invitation. So here, this is my Google Sheet and we are using this spreadsheet which is named as all guest list. And in this, I have contact details of all the guests that I want to invite. And I want to send an invitation automatically to all these guests on WhatsApp. So for that, I will open a new tab and search for pabli.com and this will take us to this landing page of pabli here we have two options sign in and sign up for free if you don't have any account with pabli you can just sign up for free and it will take only two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month or if you already have an account you can just sign in and you will get to see this page so these are all the apps that pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I'm going to click here on Access Now button under Pabli Connect. And this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here, this is the workflow section and we can see all the workflows that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder here and we can save any workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now we want to create a new workflow. For that, I'm going to click here on create workflow button and this window will pop up. Here, I have to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to send beautiful WhatsApp invites. And I'm going to select folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to select home here and I will click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action is going to just follow that. So we need to set up our trigger first. And here I'm going to use Google Sheet as my trigger application. So I will search for Google Sheet here. I'm going to select Google Sheets. And I have to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and new or updated spreadsheet row will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this. And I have to connect Google Sheet with Pabli Connect. So for connecting Google Sheet with Pabli Connect, I'm going to use this webhook URL, which is going to work as a bridge between Google Sheet and Pabli Connect. And for connecting these two accounts, I need to follow all this instruction. So first I'm going to copy this webhook URL. Now we'll go back to my Google Sheet. Here, first I will go to extensions. In extensions, I will go to add-ons and I will click on get add-ons. And this will take us to the Google Workspace Marketplace. Here, I'm going to search for Public Connect Webbook. So I'll open this. And you will get to see this extension. So we need to install this. I have already installed this. So I'm going to close this. I will go back to extensions. Now I will go to Public Connect Webbooks. In this, I'm going to open this initial setup. So this window will pop up. Here we have two options, webhook URL and trigger column. So first I'm going to paste my webhook URL here that we have copied from Pabli Connect and I have to give a trigger column. So the trigger column will be a final data column on which if the data is added, the whole of that row data will be sent to the webhook URL. So for the trigger column, I have two columns name and the mobile number. So the column B is my last data entry column. So I'm going to type column B here and I'm going to click on send test. And it says test data sent successfully. 
Now I'm going to click on submit. And my setup configured successfully. Now I'm going to close this. I will go back to extensions. I will go back to public connect webbook. And here I'm going to click on send on event. Now what this option is going to enable that whenever I will add new contact details in my in my spreadsheet, then it will send that data automatically to public connect. Now let's go back to public connect. And here we can see we have received this new response. So the trigger column is B spreadsheet name is all guest list. So this is the name of my guest, which is demo user. And this is the mobile number. Now I want to send an automated WhatsApp message of an invitation to this particular guest. So for that, I will set up my action step and I will open this tab. And here I'm going to search for my action application, which will be VARP. So I'm going to select this. Now I have to give an action event. So I will open this tab and send template message will be my action event. Now we'll connect VARP with Public Connect. So I'll click here on connect. I will click on add new connection. And to connect VARP, I have to give a API endpoint and the access token. Now for these two details, I will go back to VARP. Here I will go to API docs. And in this, I have this access token and the API endpoint. So first I'm going to copy this API endpoint and I will go back to public connect. And I'm going to paste my API endpoint here. Now I have to give an access token. So I will go back to VARP. I will copy this access token and I will go back to public connect and I'm going to paste it here. Now we'll click on save. So my connection here is successful. Now I have to give WhatsApp number. So for the WhatsApp number, I'm going to use the response that I got from the Google sheet and I'm going to map that number here and I'm going to use mapping. So what mapping is mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I'll click here. I'm going to open this response and I'm going to map this mobile number. So this is the WhatsApp number that I'm going to use send an invitation to my guest. Now I have to select my template. So for the template, let's go back to Wati. Now we'll go to templates. So for the template, you first have to create a new template and you have to get the approval from Varti. And I have already taken approval for this template. So I'm going to use this wedding invitations template. So I'll show you this. So my template name is wedding invitation. Category is marketing. Language is English. In this, I have this invitation card for the wedding. And I have this message for the invitation. So it says dear and name is variable in this. So it's going to change according to my guest. You are cordially invited to celebrate the union of Eleanor and Aaron as we embark on the journey of a lifetime together. This is the date, time and the venue of the wedding and in the end regards. So I'm going to send this card and this message automatically to my guest for the invitation. And you can customize this template according to your need. You can send the message as you want and you can create beautiful templates of cards and you can send them and you can customize your invitation as your need. So I'm going to map these details in public connect. So let's go back to public connect. So I'm going to select my template. So for that, I will open this tab and in this tab, you will find all the templates that you have in your Varti account. And I'm going to use this wedding invitations template. So I'm going to select this. Now I have to give a broadcast name. So let's go back to Varti. And here in the broadcast title, I have media. Now we'll go back to public connect. And for the broadcast name, I'm going to type media here. Now I have to give a custom params and this is the most important step. So I want to avoid mistakes here. So custom params are always in this particular format. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here. So custom params are in name value pair. So for the custom params, let's go back to RT. And here in my message, I only have one variable, which is of name. So I'm going to map this in custom param. So I will go back to public connect. And here in the name section, I'm going to clear this name. And I'm going to type my variable, which is of name. Now I have to give the value of my variable. So I'm going to clear this blue. And I'm going to map the name of my guest here. So the name of my guest will be changed according to the responses that I'm getting from my Google sheet. 
So I'm going to map this. So I will open this response of Google Sheet. And here I have this name of my guest, which is demo user. So I'm going to map this. So this is my custom param. I only have one variable in my message. And if you have more than one variables in your message, then you just have to give a comma here and you can follow this format again like this. I have filled all my details here. I'm going to click on save and send test request button. And here we have this response. So it has generated this contact ID. So this means we have sent an invitation to this particular guest. Now to check this, so I will go to WhatsApp. And here on WhatsApp, we can see I have received this new message. So I'm going to open this. So this is the message. And here we can see I have received this particular invitation for the wedding of Eleanor and Aaron. So this is the message and this is the invitation that, that we have created as a template on Wati. And we have sent this beautiful invitation automatically on WhatsApp to our guest. So we have successfully created this integration between Google Sheet and Wati such that such that whenever I'm adding contact details of my guest in Google Sheet, then I'm sending a beautiful invitation on WhatsApp to that particular guest. And this is happening instantly. So now let's go back to Public Connect. So we have sent this message to our first guest. Now I'm going to show you how you can send messages to all your guests. For that, let's go back to Google Sheet. And for that, we have to go to extension again. We will go to Public Connect Webbook. And in this, I have this send all data option. You have to enable this option and you will see that one by one, you will be sending invitation to all your guests automatically. One thing you have to keep in mind that you only have to enable this option when you are satisfied with your first message. So let's go back to public connect. And here we have created this integration between Google Sheets and Wati such that whenever I'm adding contact details of my guests in my Google Sheet, then I'm sending an automated message of beautiful invitation of a wedding to all my guests instantly. So let's summarize what we did here. First, I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Google Sheets and my trigger event was new or updated spreadsheet row. Then I have set up my action and my action application was Wati and my action event was send template message. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these application, you can automate and integrate a lot more application like this using Public Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.